Hey guys, this is me Adita back on A Star Industry up with a new video. And today is gonna be something pretty different. I'm not going in my table, I'm just gonna stand here and show this video like this because this one is the easiest thing and it's not gonna take a lot of space and time. So we're gonna begin with the materials and the thing we're gonna be crafting today is the is Batman's like side protective arm protector like there are like three spikes coming out of it and it's gonna protect his arm right so I'm gonna be making that stuff and this might be the world's easiest one because it's just gonna require one single A4 paper tape scissors and pen so we're gonna start by taking this A4 size and cutting out two strips down here There goes one and two. And it's not gonna even take the entire A4. So next up you need to measure your hand and just don't roll it. Uh I guess I'll just cut out a size of this much. Cause it depends on the size of your hand. My hand size can fit in that. I mean uh, just uh, the lower portion should be open like that but this side should be closed so it looks like so and I'm gonna cut out a bit away from this because this is pretty big for me and there you go I don't need this piece just throw it back there okay I cut out this piece and two strips now next thing I'm gonna do is with this giant piece right there um, we're gonna have to fold it into three equal parts, like strips as big as this. You can see that? Okay, one, two, and one more time, three. There you have it. Now, all we have to do is cut these three pieces out. Okay, there you go. I've got three pieces out there right there in front of you. Now, all you have to do next is uh, line those three pieces together and then fold it into half, like so. And I want you guys to make a pattern on it. I, you can use your pen, but I'll just use my marker because it's visible to you guys. Uh, so, I guess it's gonna be something like this okay something like that like a paper knife and and yes I, I did it wrong actually and this folded part here where it cannot be separated you have to draw the bottom of that on there and the spike must be facing upwards in this open part spike upwards so next thing you want to do is cut this out yes cut this piece out I thought I did something wrong there okay there you go then you'll have like this kind of pieces three of these kinds of pieces so you better keep those side for now and now next thing you want to do is Take these pieces and take a piece of uh, tape and then s simply stick it up there like that and on this side as well. As well as on that corner piece like so, so it can cover both pieces. Now all you have to do is do the same with this other two. Okay, after you've done it on all the three pieces, you wanna take that piece like so, and then simply fold it like that. So it's as big as my pinky finger. And there's like a fold right down there, so that is very important in this craft. 
Now I've got all three of them folded ready. So these are going to be the spikes like that. So next thing I'm going to do is this piece which we cut out measuring our hand is going to come in handy right now. So this piece which you just uh, you know folded and did that you want to stick it in there like perfectly in the middle and this fold piece fold one should be taped in there so it'll be a lot easier and make sure that the uh, distance between each of them is like even or else it's gonna look a little bit weird so I'm gonna start it Okay, like that, so I already sticked it there. Now next thing I want to do is take another piece of tape, and then on this side, you want to stick it like that. So it is very, very, man, the light, okay. It's very, very, uh, you know, strong, and it's not going to move anymore. So you want to, if you want, really want to make it very strong, you can like put a toothpick in there. So it's like hard to break. So I'm gonna do the same for these other two. And I'll be back. Okay, I've completed it. Now I've got those on all three, all those three on there. So I've got that covering part on. Now next thing I want to do is, do you remember these two strips we cut out at the first? Now we're going to use those stuffs. But before that, let me just give it like a curve on this stuff. So it looks a bit awesome. Like that. Okay, now next thing I want to do is this strip must be attached in that place inwards inside of uh, where the spikes are. Not in the side where the spikes are, but inside. And there you go, I've attached one of those there. I need to do the same with this other strip right there. Okay. There you go. I've got those stuffs ready. Now next thing I want to do is put this on my hand and then I just need to like roll this stuff in the size of my hand. And I must create a fist so that it might be easy for me to slide it in and slide it outside. So as far as I'm concerned this should be perfect for my hand. Yes, that is perfect. And another thing I remember, just don't forget to like squish it a little bit so it gives shape of your hand in there. Otherwise, it's gonna just remain flat, which you don't want. Okay, there you go. Now I'll just stick this according to my size and then it's ready. Okay, now I've got that on and it's according to my size so it fits me perfectly and it doesn't like spin around all those a time and it's perfect the spikes are strong but it's like a little bit wiggly but when you see it in a larger scale it's gonna look dope actually so that's it that's all you gotta do and if you guys really want a batman look you can like paint it black by using black painting color or pencil color or even crayons and if you don't have any of those uh, I prefer using black chart paper. So that's it guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned to make this kind of cool easy stuffs and inspire you to make some paper crafts. Then don't forget to subscribe my channel. Like this video. Comment me down below what should I do next in my next video. And subscribe my channel. Bye bye.